Hey everybody, it's Veterans Day. I am a veteran and uh, I'd like to thank all you other veterans out there for your service. So that's why I'm dressed up fancy today because it is a holiday and vaccinated. That's what this means, vaccinated, okay. Today I'm making some uh, Oh, uh, pepper steak, and uh, I'll show you how I do it. Now, I got some water here. I'm going to cook up some rice, and it's just going to be instant rice. You don't need anything fancy. I don't really care for the sticky rice that much, so I'm going to heat some water up, and I got the rice ready. And uh, now, I got some button mushrooms here. If you want, can you get this in, Kimmy, good? So what you do is you just take these and break your little stem out of it like that. And you don't want to rinse these off, in my opinion. You know, that you got that little pieces of dirt on there, but you're better off just to wipe it off with a paper towel like that. Because if you rinse it off, the water kind of soaks down into the mushroom, so it's not a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these up, and, and then we'll be right back. Okay, camera lady. We're back. And uh, the water is boiling, so I'm going to dump the rice in there. The minute rice. Kind of get it all stirred up a little bit. And we're going to set that aside. Then what I'm going to do is clean these peppers. Now how I do a pepper is like this. I'll cut the top off like that. After you do that, you can see the seeds down in there. So you can kind of just follow with your knife along those seeds like that. And you know where to cut. Just like that. Then you don't have a big mess. All right, then you got your seed pod. You just throw it out. And I cut these up like this. And when I come to this part, which I don't really care for, I just cut on the other side of it and kind of throw this away. Be sure to watch out for your fingers. Cut these up into strips. And we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Now I got a little bit of olive oil in the skillet here, just maybe a couple tablespoons. It's heating up. I cut up three bell peppers. Now you can use a yellow and a red and the green if you want to make it real pretty, but it's pretty expensive, some of them other ones, so I always buy just the green, but anyway. Right, now I got a pound and a half of what you call skirt steak right here. It don't look like much, but it's one of the, some of the best steak you'll ever eat. Now you see how it runs like this? You can see the grain of this runs like this. This one here, you can see how it runs like that. Well, you wanna always cut across the grain when you're getting these ready. Now this here is called an outside skirt steak. This one's a little bit more expensive. Now I'm going to put these vegetables in here and this uh, mushrooms because it's heating up pretty good. So we want to soften these up. I'm going to turn it down to about medium high there for now. And we'll kind of spread this around. Just going to get those all softened up good. Now, all right, back to the skirt steak. This, like I say, this is called an outside skirt steak. The outside skirt steak is the most expensive, and it's definitely the most tender. So it's however you want to do. Now, we're going to cut this up thin, so it's going to be tender anyway, but it's be 
other skirt steak is called the inside skirt steak. It's a little bit tougher than this. So really what you want to do, what we do, we, take, we buy the outside skirt steak. But both of them you want to cut like this. Remember I said the grain on this one's running like this. So you want to cut across the grain and you want to cut it thin. See that little thin piece? See, you can cut this real thin if you try. Don't cut your fingers up. But this is how I do it. I cut it real thin. I got a sharp knife here and this meat is cold. When the meat's cold, it's easier to cut. And we're just going to go right along there and cut a bunch of thin strips. And we got the veggies runt cooking up here. And we'll be back. We shall return. Vaccinated. All right, now the skirt steak, I got it all cut up. Like I say, I got about a pound and a half here. I'm going to take a little bit of this kosher salt and I'm going to sprinkle it on the meat, salt it up just a little bit, and then I'm going to give it a little bit of pepper, depends how much pepper you like, pepper it up, and I'm going to add just a pinch of granulated garlic here, not a whole lot, just like that, and uh, as you can see here, the veggies are cooking, we're getting those softened up. Working on that. Smells really good. Don't it smell good, Kenny? Mm -hmm. I hear her belly growling, so must be doing something. Now I'm going to take a little fork, test it out. Not soft all the way yet. I like it pretty soft. When it's, some people like it, the veggies are a little crunchy. I like mine a little soft. By the way, Dolly's in there talking at somebody. Uh, there's Dolly right there. I don't know what she's talking about, but Dolly, squirrel. what are you talking about? Squirrel? Did you see a squirrel? All right, so we're going to do a little more cooking. We'll be back. All right, now what we're going to do, I got a quarter cup of uh, soy sauce in here. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water to it. That'll give us about a half a cup total. Let's see. That's about half right there, just like that. And then to that I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch right in that same old bowl. And I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of sugar, plain old white sugar. Now I'm going to take my fork, I'm going to mix this up like this, get it ready because we're going to be using that here in a little bit. All right, let's check these veggies. They're cooking, getting nice. Mushrooms are looking good. Now this will be enough for two people for two meals at least, so you might want to know that. Check these veggies again. I think they're getting pretty good. Alright, we're going to give it another couple of minutes and we'll be right back. Now, I'd say the veggies are done here, so I'm going to get me a bowl. We're going to take all these veggies back out of here. Get them out of the skillet. Yeah, I could use that spoon, can I? No, the other one. There we go. See if that helps. That's a little better. All right, get these veggies out of here. They're nice and softened up. How we like them.
Alrighty. And the skillet's pretty hot here. I haven't turned it off. But now I'm going to turn this skillet up to almost all the way up to high. I'm going to add a little bit of more olive oil like this. Let that just heat up a little. You want this skillet nice and hot. And we're going to get this over here to get it ready while the skillet's getting hot. And I got some uh, minced garlic. It's real garlic. I'm going to set this here. And now it should be pretty hot. We're going to add the skirt steak. Remember, this is the outside skirt steak. We're going to add that in there, and it's nice and kill it's nice and hot. That's what you want. You're going to put it all in there. On top of that, I'm going to put in about a couple of tablespoons of this garlic. Just like that. That'll be nice. Smells good. Don't that smell good? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let that fry just a little. This is going to take very little time to cook. Because the meat is really thin. Now you notice I put that garlic on top of the meat. You don't want to cook the garlic too long because it can burn a little bit and change the flavor of it, the real garlic. So I put that on the top. Right now it's just sitting there waiting for it to get some action. What we're going to do is remove the lid from the rice. And we're going to fluff up this rice a little bit so it'll be nice and ready. Then, I'm going to flip this stuff over. You see how it's starting to brown up? I'm going to put it all the way over to high here. I want it to brown up real nice before we do anything else. In other words, before we dot another I, or cross another T. I saw that movie. Okay. No, okay. Wait. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> On there. Down there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we kind of got our signal crossed a little bit there. <laughs> oh, well. That's what makes it fun. You know, cooking is fun. Just make sure that you wash your hands good. Like I always say, it's the responsibility of the cook to have really clean hands. Like Judge Judy says about court, when you go to court, you got to have clean hands or the courts won't help you. That's what it is when you're cooking. You got to have clean hands. All right, that's doing pretty good. Now you see, it's browned up. It's only been a couple of minutes here. It's browning up. And I got that garlic mixed in there. Now there's a little bit of red there yet, so I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. We just want it so it's brown. Get rid of the red. Only takes a couple minutes, like I say, to do this. All right, she's a cooking. Now I'm gonna make sure this concoction's all stirred up and ready to go. And we're going to add our veggies back into the old skillet. Spread them out. And we're going to flip them around a little bit. You see that meat is nice and getting brown now. There's pinks going away. Just like that. This is going to be so tender and so good, you're not going to believe it. Now I got it up to like that. I'm going to take this other concoction I made. I'm going to put that right over the top of everything. And that's going to 
thicken it up a little bit. I'm gonna add some flavor with soy sauce and the sugar. And we'll see here what it's doing. You see it's making a gravy in there. I still got it on high. You see it thicken up there? You can see it nice and just like gravy, because it is gravy. Now we're gonna plate it up while we're at it. So I'm gonna get a plate. Show you how we do it. And first I'm gonna get a little bit of rice. Like this. Put it right there in the middle. Just like that. And turn it off. And I'm going to add some of this stuff right to the rice like that, right over the top. Get me some mushrooms in there, some, lots of meat, some gravy, all that. Take this off the, ski, the heat. And I'm going to add me, because I like it, a little bit extra soy sauce like that. Hey, happy Veterans Day. That's it. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.